it's a gift that she has that goes beyond her musical gifts, I think. I've always wanted to do this, but never got around to it until today. Right now, I'm at the site of the ABC radio transmitter here in Melbourne. Uh, there are two signals, one on 621 kilohertz, the other on 774, 50 kilowatts, and the transmitting site is here at Sydenham, about 28 kilometers northwest of Melbourne. And I'm here with a crystal set to see how loudly I can drive a speaker with the signal from this transmitter that's just behind me. As for the crystal set, I've featured it in um, previous videos. It's a variable inductor crystal set, so you slide the coils in and out and you can cover the AM broadcast band. It's just got a germanium diode detector. And the switch here is so I can cover the whole AM broadcast band. It switches in extra capacitance to cover in the lower bit. And here is the audio transformer, which converts the high output impedance to low output impedance, so that can drive low impedance phones or a speaker. As for the earth, I've just got that connected to the fence, so that goes all the way around the transmitting site. And for the antenna, I've just got 20 metres of in-fed wire, which I often use for my transmitting. I didn't bring a squid pole, but I've just got it slung between these saplings, so only about a metre or one to a half meters off the ground and yeah so it's a horizontal not really the ideal antenna for this sort of thing ideally you'll be wanting a vertical antenna but hey I'm only a few meters away from the transmitting antenna so I should be able to pick up something first thing we'll try these headphones low impedance but that's fine because I've got the transformer here I'm holding the headphones right up to the microphone of the camera. As you could probably hear, I am getting both stations. It's fascinating, really fascinating. It's fascinating to I would imagine there are some listeners saying, get on with it, let us know what yes. the weather, and let us know that when okay. are we getting to Jeff For the, well, No, listen, we, yeah, they've just come in. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Sit down, we'll get you a cup of tea. Yes. Don't you get up, don't, yes. no, you, I'll get it for you. All right, you can get it, that'll be fine. Thanks for joining us today. We are uh, about to launch into an interview with Jeff Tweedy from Wilco. They're coming to town next year, March, I believe. We've got a brand new album. Cousin. Um, and in the interview, you will hear Jeff Tweedy mention a song. That As you can hear, it's driving a speaker. A bit of the traffic noise is a bit of an uh, annoyance, yeah, but during the breaks in the traffic, it's reasonably comfortable listening with 
my head about 50 centimetres from the speaker. Well, let's not forget that he speaks beautifully about Mavis Staples. He talks about his dear friends in Australia. He talks about the... Here's another station, this is Radio National. Radio National on 621. Right now I've got the speaker being held right up to the camera. A little bit louder is 774. I'll just move the tappings a bit. And it's a bit quieter up the coil. So that's our listen of a crystal set, almost underneath a 50 kilowatt station. In fact, two 50 kilowatt stations. It will drive a speaker. It's not super, super loud. It might be better if I used a vertical antenna. That's it for today. If you've enjoyed this video, or better still, if you've tried this sort of experiment, then let me know how you've gone. And unfortunately I left my multimeter at home. I would have loved to have measured the voltage. I might have even driven an LED. In fact, I definitely know you can drive an LED on a crystal set. I've done it before, even from home. So, yep, self-powered radio under a big AM station. Even if you have problems with crystal sets at home and are too far from a station, 
make sure you take a crystal set whenever you go near a spot where there's an AM station. Set up near the transmitter, even if just by the side of the road, and you can have a listen to the radio for free. Bit of trivia for this site. I've got a bit closer, and you might just be able to see the city buildings through the trees. If you want to learn more about ABC's transmitter, there's some information on the Macedon Rangers Amateur Radio Club. I'll include a link with the video description. The club had a tour of the site and on its website there's pictures of what's inside the hut and technical details about the antenna. The antenna was constructed in 1938 and it's a 5 of a wavelength vertical and it's about 215 metres high with a buried earth mat of around 243 metres diameter below it. Oh, did you see that for sale sign? At least part of the site is for sale. I would have got even better results if my antenna was higher. And the best way to do that is with a Haverford squid pole. Haverford deliver to addresses within Australia. And if you put in VK3YE, you get 10% off. Not only that, but right now there's a sale. So if you're thinking of getting a squid pole, either your first or several others that you need, then now is the best time to buy. For more information, visit haverford.com.au. That's haverford.com.au for script polls within Australia.